Sheldon Precision Engineering. Now, I want to find out why you like Citizen so much. Well, I started off with Citizen, yeah. and um, we've come accustomed to the operating systems, and it makes sense to stick with one brand. So why the initial decision on Citizen though? Uh, because of my previous company, I, they had a lot of citizens there, and I've seen how reliable and how productive they were. Um, so it was a no-brainer. Now, it was a new company. You bought three citizens. They weren't new, but this is your, inv your latest investment, the L32 Type 8, the first new one. But think, taking a step back, service support training, you think, you know, you're buying a second-hand machine, it's not going to be there. Is that right? No, not at all. When I bought a used machine from a dealer, um, in the early days it was, I needed a lot of support, programming, uh, etc. And when I went to Citizen, they, they treated me like I bought a new machine. The, the service and the support, I feel, was exactly the same as if I'd have bought a, a new machine from day one. Okay, so obviously they know they're in, it. they're in it for the long game, as are you. Yeah, I think they, they realise, like you just said, the long game, and it's paid off because now I've bought a brand new machine and um, happy days for them. Okay, now this is the L32 Type 8, and before everybody panics, you haven't got LFE. Why not? Yeah, shock horror. This is not a video about LFE. Um, unfortunately, I, I couldn't wait. I had capacity problems. I needed a 32mm machine quickly. And um, the LFV models are not available until uh, towards the end of the year for delivery. Um, so I got the next best thing. Um, but it's still providing a fantastic solution. Oh, absolutely. And um, I've not had LFV up till now. So it's still a luxury that I look forward to using in the future. Um, all manufacturing engineers are talking about it and they all want it. Um, but, I've, you know, up till now, we've, we've been all right without it. Okay. LFV really, you know, there's all sorts of things it provides. It is about sort of doing that unmanned running. How have you got a solution with this machine? Other workarounds, essentially. Not workarounds, but... Yeah, well, we have that in mind when we spec the machine. Um, so you obviously you have the bar feed. Uh, we've, entered, we've got a swarf conveyor, yep. but we've also got the all-important high-pressure coolant. Yep. We've got six lines being fed into the machine. What sort of pressure does that, does that go to? Uh, you're looking at 2,000 psi, right. and we plumbed in the tools directly, okay. so tool life is good, and also it helps chip up the material, which is what the LFE does. Right. So essentially, no birds nesting issues whatsoever. Not currently, no. Not on this model, no. And other things in terms of keep, keeping it running that, well, you're not going 24-7 yet because that's not what you're looking to do, but you're unman running. What other solutions in terms of maybe tool measurement and if tools break? Yeah, well, we do uh, run lights out. Uh, we're not 24-7 by any means, but with the machine, I also suspect um, tool life monitoring software and also sister tooling. So we, we can set up two tools doing the same thing and when one's worn out, it'll automatically switch to the next one giving us longer lights out manufacturing. Okay, now what I want to do, because you make some great parts on this machine, and I can see you playing with them there in your hands, let's have a look at why you bought this L32 and what you're actually making. This is the part we've got running at the moment. Uh, by all accounts, it looks like a straightforward part, which I guess it is, but it's got tight tolerances on each of the diameters. Uh, you've got a groove, and more importantly, on the back, it's cosmetically important that there's a very high finish because that is, is going to be on show. Okay, so essentially it's coming up off the machine with that quality finish, no need for polishing or anything like that. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, we get very high finishes yeah. on these machines due to their rigidity and the oil supply and obviously having good tools. Perfect. And what about the other component you've got there? Yeah, so we've um, got another part here, or it's a pair of parts. Uh, it's a medical application. Uh, it actually goes on a chemotherapy machine in hospitals. Uh, they're both actually made out of brass. This part here is nickel plated. Uh, it's got threads, milled flats, face groove, um, threaded on the internal, on the, on, the, on the rear. I'm assuming medical, really tight tolerances. Uh, not super tight, but uh, they, again, want the parts to look good. Yeah. Uh, again, we uh, have no damage on these parts and we deliver them in egg trays to make sure there's no damage on route as well. So I'm assuming that's part of the whole solution. We mentioned bar feed, swarf conveyor, but also your parts catcher as well. 
Yeah, in addition to the package from Citizen, um, I've commissioned um, a parts conveyor, yeah. which takes the parts away as they come down the chute and move them away, so there's no damage whatsoever. The parts don't come down and hit on top of each other at all. Okay. So I'm getting from this that uh, it's really about the surface finish that the Citizen machine is providing on these components. Yeah, it's, it's, it's always such a shame. You make a part and it comes down and bang, bang, hits the next part. So I've, this solution of the uh, conveyor I've commissioned and we're now actually promoting, we're, we're selling, uh, we're calling it the part protector. Uh, to coin a phrase, um, I've got on two machines now. Yeah. I think it's absolutely magic and essential on you know these machines. Okay. So you also mentioned though, in terms of the new the new L32 cycle time reduction. Yeah, we've seen some significant savings up to 30 percent, and probably uh, probably achieve more. Excellent. Okay. Our great little endorsement of Citizen. The fact you've got four, gone the new one. I'm assuming. What's the next purchase? Well. Uh, I was toying with a Miano, yeah. um, and I've kept this machine tight to this wall so there's space for another machine. Okay. So we'll have to wait and see, but it'll Sorry. definitely be another citizen. <laughs> so I think you might have Tony on the phone very soon. Yeah. Howard, thank you very much. No